Hi again, everybody. Welcome to English Today. Now, in English Today, we are thinking about our own version of the story Flotsam. On your class dojo, I've put this piece of paper for you to either print or to copy. I'm going to take you through this now, and then we'll start thinking about your own ideas. So at the start of the story Flotsam, in box one, Sam was on the beach, a wave hit him, he found a camera. That's the beginning that sets the scene. He discovers this camera and that's where his adventure begins. In box two, he asked other people, but they didn't know who it belonged to. And he had the pictures developed. There was that chatty woman in the shop. He waited patiently outside. In box three, this is the main part of the story. This is the really exciting bit. He looked at the pictures. He saw clockwork fish, octopus reading, pufferfish flying, shell cities, starfish islands. Now in this box, this is not good writing. This is just ideas. I haven't written in great long sentences with noun phrases and commas and adverbs and all the amazing things we can use. I've just made notes. After he's looked at the pictures, we're on to box four. He saw other people in the pictures. The pictures went back to the first owner and there was a photo of a boy waving. And at the end, box five, Sam took a picture of himself. Sam threw the camera back into the sea. Your job today is to think about what your version of the story is going to look like. I've done my version here with my main character, Fran. So let's look at box one together. You can pause the video and write your version afterwards. If you're thinking, Mr. Scully, and you've asked us to do an awful lot of writing recently, then that's okay. You can draw a picture, but the picture must also be your personal best. If you send me pictures that I don't think are your best, I will ask you to do this activity again. Box one. Sam was on the beach. A wave hit him. He found a camera. This is not a good story at the moment. It doesn't include all of the things. It's just notes. In my version of the story, I'm going to write about a main character called Fran. Fran is a girl. Fran was on the beach. She saw something in a rock pool, like my ideas from yesterday. It was a camera. So think carefully about your version. Salima, I really like in your idea at the moment of somebody walking through the sugar cane and finding it. Um, somebody else yesterday, Asmahan, had a red boy in a red boat on a lake and he saw the camera in the water. I thought those are really interesting ideas. Somebody else was down by the river. What were they doing down by the river? Where was the camera? Really great ideas. If you've got the piece of paper, make sure you do that section now. It's similar to the activity we did yesterday, so it should be easy peasy. If you want to do notes like me, absolutely fine. If you want to do pictures, that's fine too. I'm moving on to box two now. So in Flotsam, Sam asked other people. He was on the beach. There were other people there, but they didn't know who it was, who it belonged to. Maybe they didn't know what it was. And then he had the pictures developed. Well, in my story, Fran just asked her mum and dad. Maybe they were the only other people with her on the beach. She asked her mum and dad, but they didn't know what the box was. And then she had the pictures developed. You must have the pictures developed. You must visit a photo shop to get the pictures developed. Otherwise, how do you know what the pictures are of? OK, I'll give you time now. You can pause the video, get box one and box two finished before we move on to box three, which is the really interesting part. Pause the video now. OK, we're moving on to box three. In Flotsam, Sam, he looked at the pictures and these are the things he saw. When you write the story next week, obviously you're going to make the writing a bit more interesting. But these are just the basic ideas. Clockwork fish, octopus reading, pufferfish flying, shell cities and starfish islands. Now because my main character is also at the sea, I can take some of these ideas and use them. If your main character found the camera somewhere else, maybe found the camera buried underground, they probably won't have things that you would find at the sea. 
So you're going to have to think really carefully about what he is going to see or she is going to see in the pictures. My main character, Fran, saw swordfish fighting, a mermaid brushing her hair, a tiny man racing a seahorse, shell cities, and I borrowed one of Bayer's ideas from yesterday, sharks playing cards. I hope that's okay, Bayer. So have a look, have a think about box three. The more ideas you have, the more chance you have to use noun phrases, adverbs, commas in a list, all of those successful features of writing. If you want to use a separate piece of paper, because there isn't enough space in this box for any pictures you might want to draw, you can do that now. You can do a separate piece of paper and come up with all those brilliant ideas. Box three is the most important part of this story. OK, we're moving on to box four and five. If you haven't finished box three, pause the video and come back as soon as you're ready. Right. I didn't change anything here. In Flotsam, he saw other people in the pictures. In my story, she should say she. Let's edit that now. She saw other people in the pictures. Because Fran is most definitely a girl. She saw other people in the pictures. The pictures went back to the first owner. And in my story, the pictures went back to the first owner. And in Flotsam, there was a photo of a boy waving. Remember, he was smiling kindly. But in mine, I've just changed one part. It's a girl waving this time. I could describe what she looks like. I'm going to try to use the word kindly. She was smiling nicely at the camera. And then box five is the ending of our story. The main character is going to put the camera back somewhere for somebody else to find it. So they could put it back on the sugarcane plantation or maybe they put it in the truck with the sugarcane so it would be taken somewhere else. Uh, if you're in a red boat by the lake, well, perhaps you could drop it somewhere into the lake or make, put it on something that floats and push the camera away. In Flotsam, Sam took a picture of himself and Sam threw the camera back into the sea. In my version, Fran took a picture of herself and she dropped the camera into the river. I chose the river because the river will take the camera back to the sea. She watched as it floated down the river gently back into the ocean. Gently. Excellent adverb. This is what we're doing today. Our ideas for our own version that we will write next week. But it's really important you finish this activity today because we're going to use some of the ideas on Thursday. OK. Enjoy. I look forward to seeing your creativity. I've been super impressed with your innovation so far. Send me a photo of your finished uh, box up plan, either pictures or short sentences like this. I look forward to seeing them all. Have fun.